Okay, we have the solution here to SAC 213, problem number one. Um, this is a circuit problem, so as with any problem, but especially circuit problems, we definitely need to start with a diagram. Um, and from the problem, you see that they're connected in series. Um, so we will start with our battery. And a battery is represented with a symbol. It's got a positive side and a negative side. And the voltage across the battery is... 6.05 volts and then we have a resistor which has a resistance of 157,000 ohms and then next in the series we have a capacitor which has a value of 472 microfarads so we complete the diagram. Um, and then we are trying to solve for the time that it takes for the capacitor to reach a charge of 2.36 millicoulombs. So we don't have an equation on your formula sheet that works for this, so most of this problem is just doing the algebra to substitute your equation down. So the equation we're going to use is the voltage of the system is equal to the voltage across the battery times 1 minus e to the negative t, which is the time, so this is actually what we're solving for, over tau. Um, we don't have a value for tau, but we know from our sheet that it is equal to um, resistance times the capacitor, and we have both of these values. So. Um, the next thing we want to do is realize that we don't have the value for this voltage here, but um, we can. We have the formula um, Q is equal to CV, and then we can solve for voltage. So the voltage ends up being equal to Q over C. Um, we have the value for C across the capacitor, and Q is the charge that we're going to um, be looking for it to... Uh, the time that we're looking for the charge to get to this point. So the charge or Q for this problem is going to be this 2.36. And so um, substituting this in, we get the formula um, Q over C is equal to the, um, voltage across the battery, 1 minus E to the negative T over RC. And that's just, these are just the substitutions from here. Um, now we still need to solve for this small t here. So by just rearranging the equation, um, we're going to, and just by dividing both sides by this to isolate what's in parentheses, we get that. Um, is equal to Q over the capacitor times the voltage across the battery. Um, and then we will again rearrange to just isolate this part of the equation here. Um, and to do this, we're going to get E is equal to the negative T over RC equals 1 minus Q over CE. And because anything over the same value is equal to 1, we can substitute this to make this equ our equation easier to deal with again. So we can use CE over CE minus Q over CE. And this simplifies down because this is a common um, denominator here. We can go CE minus Q over the common denominator. So at this point, now we're just trying to isolate this small t here to, to be equal to our time. So to do this, we have to take the natural log of both sides. And by doing that, we get rid of the e, and this comes down to be our number. So we get negative t over rc is equal to the natural log of um, this value here.
and then we just need to solve for the t, so we're going to multiply both sides by um, the negative rc. So t is equal to negative rc times the natural log And then by the rules of natural logarithms, we can um, isolate this negative and make this equation equal to RC, the natural log of, um, and then you, to do that, you flip-flop here. So you've got CE over CE minus Q. And these are just natural logarithm rules to do these uh, manipulations of the equation. And now at this point, we're just down to substituting. Um, and all of our values appear to be um, in the right um, units, except for the charge on our capacitor. Um, we have it in microfarads, and we need to have it in just farads. So to do that, um, microfarads is 10 to the negative 6. So um, we substitute this in that T is equal to 157,000 ohms times the charge on the capacitor, which we had to switch to just farad, so that becomes 472 times 10 to the negative sixth farads. And then we're going to just continue this equation down here. Um, we've got the natural log of our capacitor again. 472 times 10 to the negative 6 farads times the charge on our capacitor, which was 6.05 volts. And then this is all over CE minus Q, so we've got 472 times 10 to the negative 6 farads again. And then our Q is the charge that we're um, looking to obtain the time for, so that was the 2.36 times 10 to the negative third coulombs. Coulombs, we're running out of space just a little. Um, and then just by doing the math and substituting all these numbers in, we get that time is equal to 1.30 times 10 to the second seconds. Um, and this, you get this um, value by all of the um, these canceling out here, the volts cancel, and you've got um, coulombs. One over coulombs is equal to seconds.